we must realize that God is love and he has promised us humanity, that he wants to share his glory with us, that is to share his beatitude. He wants us to live already in this life the sweetness of his good fortune. That is why in Genesis it says, let us make them in our own image and likeness. That is to say, in the image of love. His love is so great that he wanted to share the creation of humanity with us and allow us to conceive children and gave women the opportunity and privilege of carrying children for nine months so she could become closer to her Creator. Childbearing is a spiritual encounter with God. He wants to share with us the opportunity to love one another through sharing and caring for each other. It is not by chance that He has given more material things to some individual over others. That is so we may have the opportunity to love, care, and share the gifts we have received. Otherwise, if everyone had the same amount, what opportunity would there be to be generous and charitable? None. If our cities are full of hunger and the poor, it is no one's fault but ours because we have not learned to be loving and charitable. The problem is not someone else's, it is ours. Everything we have belongs to God. Everything created by God and given to us by Him. We are His stewards and it is our calling to share the gifts with all. Not to hoard it, but to share it. Mother Teresa of Calcutta, when she went to open one of her missionary convents in New York City, said, There is more poverty here than in all of India. She was not talking about monetary poverty, of course. She was talking about spiritual poverty, which is the one that leads to death of the soul. God intended us to be creatures of love in His likeness, to be compassionate, merciful, patient, faithful, loving, and just. The road to God, or should I say, true happiness, is by giving life, not by taking life. We will be judged not by our sins, but by how much we have loved. In the United States, the government pays the farmer not to produce and to burn products, so not to affect the world market. This food that could feed millions of people in Africa and other places in the world where there is hunger and pestilence if there is poverty and hunger in the world, if there is suffering in the world, we are a part of that problem. Let us not contribute to it through it our own selfishness and self-centeredness. Our God is a God of love and of life. It is very easy to blame Him for the fruit of our own sin while we enjoy our portion of the gift and your neighbor's portion too.